Hey, all praise on to you, by Shimi Al-Shai, Double Honesty, Apostle GMS, Honestly Brothers will be pushing this truth in sincerity. It's going to be a relatively quick video going into the fact that um, pretty much in the elect, in the mouths of the elect, okay, and um, in the way they conduct themselves, okay, because you go into the word uh, speech, uh, sometimes in the New Testament, it's talking about a person's conduct, okay. So when we read here in the book of Revelations, the 14th chapter on the 5th verse, and it says, And in their mouth was found no gal, that they are without fault before the throne of the Mosai. Meaning to say, man, you could basically go through a man's, you know, a gold, gold goings, you know, his, his, his day to day life and, and find and nitpick, you know, things that you feel that are not up to scratch. All right. Because at, at the end of the day, we're all men, right? Okay. Um, but the fact of the matter is, this is not about works. In fact, if I could get get that scripture, because that that really puts into into perspective. The most I said this thing ain't about works, man. Okay, the Lord set it up to to where we really need to make it. There's nothing really you can do. You're either gonna make it or you're not gonna make it. Now, the irony is, if you work, if if the most I set up for you to make it, you're gonna do all the re the prerequisites to make it. Okay. You're gonna do all of the stuff that's required for you to make it, man. All right, but you've got some guys out here, right? Spots in your face, like it's gonna say within the book uh, 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 of, 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 um, of Jude, okay? Spots within the face, man, that are on this agenda of so called exposing the men of the Lord, okay? But from this scripture here, you, you, there, there is no expo exposing us in the sight of the most side. There is no exposing us in the sight of the most side. And what's ironic, a lot of these individuals, you go on their page, they ain't got no videos talking about the current events that happen out there in the world. Why? Because they got a gripe with the men of the Lord. Not the doctrine that we're teaching. Because if it was if like like, like how the elders do it. Right? We got a gripe against the 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 um the individuals that are pushing forth an agenda contrary to the scriptures, man. Okay? We got a problem with you teaching the false doctrine. That's why we always per persistently putting up topics that are about the doctrine. We're not talking about, oh, this individual, he's this, that, and the third. That's gossiping, man. That's what women do. Okay? We're about this. We're actually about this truth, man. Okay? And in the sight of the most side, y'all by Shemiah and Shirat, as I'll be off, off, off the number. But in the sight of the most side, the elect ain't going to have no problem with the most side, man. Okay? In fact, the scripture, I believe, it goes on even further to say that, not, not that particular scripture, but there's a, a, a the exact placement of the scripture, but it goes into the fact that yeah, as blessed is he whose sins are blotted out. <laughs> okay, because why? Because our righteousness is as filthy rags. That's why the scripture says it's not of works, man, but of the grace of the most high. And then this goes on to say, so if it be of works, pretty much are we, you know, does that mean to say, does that mean to say you ain't going to put in the works, man? No, you're still going to put in the work. You're going to be even more because the most high added to where you got your merge, you got the understanding of the doctrine, okay? Here it is, the most I like, giving you all this wisdom. Hey, you're gonna be even more diligent. Like just like how the scripture says in, in the book of Matthew, much is given, but much is required. Okay, so you're gonna get all of this knowledge, or right? you're, you're, you're gonna learn that you're you're of the chosen people, the most I like and due to be above all people upon the face of the earth. Hey, that comes with a certain level of of, of requirements. Okay, you could have put in work. Okay, so this is the book of Romans, the ninth chapter and the eleventh verse, and it says, For the children being born born not yet rather more the children being not yet born neither having done any good or evil that the purpose of the Yahweh Shem Yahshai according to election might stand so he said his purpose through election just like how he says in the book of I was it was it uh, uh, Habakkuk okay I think it's in the book of Habakkuk my words going forth shall not return unto me void therefore if this person is supposed to be a servant hey guess what he can rule for 400 years fuck the whole you know mess the whole excuse my anguish I'm working on that Okay, mess the whole world up, all right, and he's still gonna end up being a servant, man. Meaning to say, this guy, okay, he is of the elect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have it to where he's gonna do this amount of wickedness before he comes into this thing, okay? Or I might have it to where this individual goes off uh, uh, in, on a particular thing, but I'm gonna straighten him out because the more size, you know, quote unquote, straighten out King David. No, I really don't wanna uh, 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 push that, but the history showed that showed you that the more size set up to where King David went off because the scripture does say the heart of the king which is the mind the law up right is in the hands of the most side so he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna list it wherever he desires man it's like a ship 
Okay, I want you to go in this direction. I want you to go in that direction. Okay, so the prophecy to be fulfilled, the most I had it to where King David went up. Ultimately, he's of the elect. And that's just the same thing with the men of the Lord, man. The most I might have it to where we fall here and there, but the scriptures, just like how the scriptures say, and that's how we know some of you guys ain't about the scriptures, man. A righteous man, a uh, 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 foolish, uh, what was it, uh, uh, ten, seven times, we can get it back up, man. Why? Because like just like how Paul said, like, you know, he said he said that, no, that, I, that I would, I would not. The right meaning say I'm trying to I'm trying to be right. I want to be right. My spirit wants to be right, but this flesh is wretched, man. Which is even you know a greater reason you want to be out of it. That should be even more like you know what I ain't even been dealing with this gospel. I just want to get out of here. Let me go out there push this word so that the elect of the Most High can be sealed. But see, they're not about the elect. They're not about sealing the elect of the Most High. They're not about doing this work. They're about uh, feeding their own egos, feeding their own agendas, man. Okay, and that's why they we say they're gonna be destroyed, man. Because we know how the, the, the men of love was gonna come out. They was gonna come out there being diligent, man, strong in the faith. <laughs> Just like the scripture says, have you have your faith uh, uh, like a, like a like a breastplate or armor, roughly paraphrasing, man. That's how the men of love was gonna come out here, man. Not to be no tough dude or anything like that, because having your faith, you know, like 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 a breastplate of, of, of armor, that's not really like coming off like a tough dude. That means you're going through adversities. And guess what? The mall side is just having it to where it's got mercy on you. You've got that faith. You just go through it, man. You run through it, man. And that's a damn beautiful thing. That's why the scripture says the, the, uh, 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 um, the righteous shall be justified. What is it? Uh, uh, through their face. The, the, you know, the righteous shall be justified through their face. Something, something like that. Roughly paraphrasing. Excuse me if, I, if I'm misquoting that scripture. Okay? All right? Because ultimately, this is all about how the mall side set it up. And to a dude... That he wants wants it to be to where that's gonna be the elect. Guess what? That brother's gonna have strong faith. He's gonna be he's gonna be pushing this word, man. He's gonna be steadfast, man. And to a dude that he doesn't want out of here, he's gonna have that dude scoffing, man. Dude's gonna be scoffing tough. <laughs> All right, let me get Second Timothy. Let me read this one more time, and and I'll get the script, the the, the, the scoff is, uh, scripture. Okay, it says neither having done good or evil that the purpose of the most high according to election might stand not of works but of him that calleth. Okay, so it's not of works, man. But ultimately, you got to put in the works because much is given and much is required, man. Okay, so let's get the scarf of scriptures, man. All right, because in the last days, man, these you know, we're in the last days, dudes was going to come and fulfill their lot in, in that there was going to be scarfers, man. They was going to talk madness about, against against the men of the Lord, and the more side is going to jack their asses up at the, end of, at the end of it. Second Peter 3 and 3, you know, in this verse, that they shall come in the last days, scarfers walking after their own lusts. Okay. Walking after their own lust, and ultimately goes into this man, the fourth chapter, which is you know I like this one. It says in the fourth chapter, and saying where is the promise of his coming? Because ultimately that's what these dudes are saying in the back of their mind. They might say, oh we're exposing this that and GMS. Well ultimately we, I've seen it too many times. Oh wait, we're exposing GMS for well, false prophecy. That's saying where is the promise of his coming? And ultimately guess what? The Most High always has them, you know, them, them prophecies come into flourishing, man. <laughs> he always has it to where boom, there you go. Like like the thing with uh, Blake Griffin, man. Dudes were you know dudes were on that that hype of uh, Blake Griffin, you know uh, Cornelius being an Edomite, and we know Blake Griffin is a Jake because his dad is a straight up Jake. But look at his look at his son, man. <laughs> his his son looks like an Edomite. All right, his son look look, look like an Edomite. <laughs> you had this dude talking about I am Cornelius. See, the most high shows us the things. See, the most high builds our strength up. But see, you you because you're willingly ignorant, as he's gonna say here within the fifth chapter. Fifth verse, what more for this? They're willingly ignorant, okay? They're willingly ignorant, so they you don't really pay attention to what's going on out here, and you have a, a problem with with, with, with the men that, that, that are trying to teach you, but you ain't paying attention to them in the first place, okay? But that's Jake for you, innit? That's Jake for you, okay? A bunch of ungrateful children, man. Of which, hey, look, I'm a victim to that some, too sometimes, man. But you know, through the, through the mercy of Yahweh, I hope, I hope I, I, I'll be a better individual as regarding, you know. Being a spoiled, uh, a spoiled child, man. Okay, all right. Through the spirit, yeah, I pray I, 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 I'll be a better man. <laughs> okay, but still, just because you know they'll, they'll, they, you know, just because I'm off the flesh and it's fault with me, doesn't mean to say that that, that the moral side is not gonna have mercy on the person because that's what the Lord's about. He's about that's what that's why He sent His Son, Yahushua, who's gonna save us from our iniquities, man. So, of course, you can expose, guys. If, if you couldn't expose us, guess what? We don't need no Messiah, man. Think about that. <laughs> All right? So, this is the book of Jude. I'm going to go straight uh, to the point. 
in in the fourth verse. Okay, it says, it, you know, just hinging on that point again. But that's why the scripture says, out of their mouth was found no guilt, because they they are without fault before the throne of the Most High, man. God damn. Okay. Um, Jude one and four. For they are certain men that kept in unaware, uh, crept in unaware. So you got dudes that came in the thing and you know kind of crept into this thing, man. You know, and you know some of them, you know, got strong in the word. You know, remembered a bunch of whole bunch of scriptures, a multitude of multitudes of scriptures, but they was never of the elect. And the most I had it to where they they were weeded out. Now, hey, y'all about me outside, be of the elect. But the statement still stands, man. Okay, they kept they kept decrypting on the west, and they got ex they got exposed. That's why they're not off their flock now. You got hey, you know, like the brother uh, from GMS, fear the most I said. Okay, he said basically, man, the most I always gives an example of. Of brothers that get kicked out of the fold and just keep carry on continuing. So there's a dynamic. So we got an example of how to do it. Them guys ain't doing it. You got some guys that just ain't doing it. Right? You get kicked out, you got a problem with the people that kicked you out because you, you got you got a bad attitude. Okay. Um for there's some there are certain men crept in on the ways who were before of old ordained in condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of the most high into lasciviousness, man. Alright? And it says, and denying the, the only Lord, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. I says, and I therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, how the Lord having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. <laughs> Alright, so you got these guys with their way with beliefs and their, their feelings and all of that, man. They're going to be destroyed, man. Okay, right? They're going to be destroyed. So this ended off on here in the book of uh, Hebrews 6 and 6. If they fall away, to renew them again. Unto repentance, and they crucify unto themselves the son of Yahweh, Yahweh, afresh, and put him to an open shame. So, to be renewed again, you fell off. Okay, to be renewed again, you're basically saying the Lord's going to go up on uh, uh, and suffer again. That ain't going to happen, my man. That is not going to happen. Okay, so uh, pretty much with that, hopefully, I'm going to, hopefully, uh, 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 your brothers got some uh, something out of that. Okay, uh, um. And without me say all praise unto Yahweh, I see me outside. Double honor to the apostles of GMS. Honestly, brothers have been pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.